Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the grace of this day and the way that you grant us into this day with renewed life, with, new, with renewed breath, with renewed perspective. And Lord, if it's been a hard night and we, we struggle in, in what needs to be done today, let the labors of our hands, of our hearts, of our will be in service to your will, O Lord our God. And we pray as we come into the midst of creation, as we go about it, that we may walk respectfully upon the, the garden that you have given us to live in, that we might look out into the world not as resources to be used up for our wants and lusts, but Lord, as opportunities to care and to show what your caring means in our lives unto the lives of others, that we might be missional in every movement we make, Lord, let the, let the ministry of our mouths and our service be praise unto you, O Lord, for there are many things that we get excited and worked up about, about our own desires being met, about our own lusts being fulfilled, about our own agendas being accomplished. And Lord, as, as wonderful as these may seem, they are nothing compared to being a part of your or glory and your grace as it is lived out in our own lives, as we live that before and with the lives of others, as we come into that fellowship of, of, of understanding and of forgiveness not because we've got all the answers, but because in you, O oh Lord, together, we offer an answer of grace and peace to the world that needs a message of peace. And so, Lord, guide us by your word. And in our devotion today, may, may what we see, may what, we, what I say, what we come to think of your word, may it bring us to a place of praise and good service and, and, and gracious and loving living as we love one another and we show our love for you this in Christ Jesus name we pray amen and today we're turning to the proverbs proverbs in in chapter 14 there we go proverbs chapter 14 at verse 23 and it reads in all labor there is profit but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury Okay, that last word, penury, we don't use that very often, but it means desolation, desperation, depravity, negative things. It, it, it tends, when we over-talk things, to take things to a place where we fall, we fall apart. And reason has its place, and our explanations and our justification for, for life and, and why we do the work that we do uh, is important and is significant if we push it too far. You ever been caught in a lie? And our, the labors of our lives are meant to be a sign of our love for God. But if we have to explain it out and explain it out and explain it out, then we're going to come up with reasons that aren't from God, that just come to satisfy maybe our listener or come to satisfy people in our lives who maybe wanted us to do other things with our life or do other things with that time. And that's not what life is about. If we can show and explain how our life is praise, how our labor is praise, how we are serving God in what we are doing, whether we're making millions or making nothing. If what we do isn't just about making us happy, but is about helping others and about looking for ways to show our love for God, then we're on the right track. Then we're doing what is right and good and beautiful before the Lord. And that labor, that, that, that labor profits much. That labor is what, what builds up the kingdom of God. That, that labor is, whether we decide to be missionaries and ministers or not, is, is labor that ministers on God's behalf without explanation. And in all that labor, there is the greatest profit. There is love. God bless and keep you. Amen.